36. Watch this. Baruch chapter 3, verse 36. He had found out all the way of knowledge. So here's the key. God has found out all of the ways of knowledge because he created everything. Right. Okay, watch this. He had found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob. Unto who? Jacob. Unto Jacob. Who is Jacob? Do you know uh, who Jacob is? Israel. Right. You heard of the Israelites? Yeah. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. All right, read this again. He hath found out all the ways of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel his beloved. You see that? So when it comes to all of the great knowledge, it ain't given to everybody. Right. Did uh, Egypt have some laws? Ancient Kimmy? Yeah, they did. They had some knowledge, but they didn't have it all. Right. He gave all of that to the Israelites. That's right. I just came to my mind. Give me that in 1 Kings 4. Bring it out. All of the knowledge more than the East Country. King Solomon, the wisest man to ever live, was an Israelite. All right, watch this. You got it? 1 Kings 4 and 29. Come on. 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 29. I want you to listen real close because we're trying to make the distinction between Israel and Egypt, right? Watch this. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding, exceeding much, and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom... Ex and Solomon's what? And Solomon's wisdom... Come on. Excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East Country. It said it excelled all the wisdom of the East Country and... And all the wisdom of Egypt. And all the wisdom of who? All the wisdom of Egypt. So yeah, we're not, we're not refuting the fact that Egypt was a great nation, but when it comes to the Israelites, we better than them. That's the thing about it. The Israelites are better than everybody on the face of the earth. That saith the Lord. Do you believe that, my sister? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring it up. Bring it up. That's what we got to understand today. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. But thou art an holy people. So the Israelites are a holy people. Holy simply means separate or set apart. <laughs> Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. You see that? God has chosen the Israelites. Read. To be a special people. To be a what? A special people. If I say you special, does that mean you the same as him? No, it don't. No, it don't. What definition is that, my sister? Special. Special. If I say that you special, does that mean you the same as him? No, 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 I don't mean that. Special means what? What does special mean? There you go, unique and set apart. That's what we gotta understand. We just been brainwashed in Christianity. Thinking that we equal, we not equal, we better than them. Read this again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Watch this. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's what they have not taught us. Right. They have never taught us that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are above all nations on the face of the earth. Right. Right. You looking at me like, what? Right. I'm better than them? Yes, sister, you are better than them. Right. That's right. saith the Lord. Right. You have to, yes, my, how, there you go. How do you explain all the things that happened to us? What do you say? How do you explain all the bad things that happened yeah, to us? Yeah, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. No, and no. then 15. That's a good question. What's your name, bro? Ray. Ray, I'm Matt. All right, nice to meet you. That's a good question. And that's the question that all of our people should really have, right? Yes. If, if we are worth anything, why is all this happening to us? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Come on. No. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. So originally... The Israelites, which are us, we were supposed to be on top. Right. But it did happen through who? King Solomon and King David. Right. That's when Israel was the top empire on the face of the earth. Right. That's historical fact and biblical fact. Everybody knows that. Right. But 15 is always a flip side, right? Watch this. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto... So you see, if we did not listen, watch this. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You see, now you say, why did all these bad? That's why. Because we went against the commandment of God. We went against the commandment of God. Give me 20, uh, verse 37. Verse 37. Hey, sis, look at the fire, okay? All right, watch this. 
and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Meaning what? When it comes to the Israelites, we would be an astonishment. Right. Meaning what? Baby mamas, baby daddies. Right. You see men walking around with their pants to their knees, right. spinning rims. Right. All our sisters are good for us for being what? Whores and thoughts. Right. That's an astonishment. That ain't normal. Right. Even though that's our reality, that ain't normal. Right. Right. We're going to be Proverbs. A proverb is what? A wise saying. Remember earlier, if you want to hide something from a black man, put it where? In a book. That's a wise saying about the blacks and Hispanics. When it comes to a byword, that means anything outside of your God-given name. Our God-given name is Israel. But we are known today as African Americans, Jamaicans, Europeans, right. Right. Um, Americans, South right. Americans, Africans. We're known as all of these things, but guess what? That ain't really us. Right. Give me uh, verse 64. I'm going hey, to relate it to the Bible for you so you can understand it better. What was your name again? I don't want to forget. Mr. Ray. And I want Ray, Samuel, and Shamal. Watch this. I'm going to show you the curses come to pass in the Bible. And then I'm going to relate it to today. Pay close attention. Give me verse 64. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other What does that mean? It says God shall scatter his people from one end of the earth to the other What does that mean? I know. I've been hearing that I know. Everybody's going to be separated. That's true. You said it. He said it right. Did you hear what he said? Say, say it again first. Chosen people are going to be spread all around the world. The chosen people are going to be spread all over the world. Right. That's different between everybody because is everybody chosen? No. But God's chosen people who are the Israelites would be scattered. All right? Now, give me Leviticus 25 and 35. I'm going to show you something. What, um, what Bible are y'all reading? Just normal King James Version. Normal Bible. It's just that the people who teach us the Bible ain't teaching us right. 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 That's all. All right, watch this. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 35. Come on. And if thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him. Yea, thou, yea, though he be a stranger. Wait, though he be a what? Though he be a stranger. Now. We're going here for a reason. So remember, I said, I need y'all to pay attention. I need y'all to lock in. Watch this. Read it again from the top. And if thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with thee. So thy brother would be who? A fellow what? Israelite. A fellow Israelite. That's exactly right. Read. And fallen in decay with thee. Uh-huh. Then thou shalt relieve him. Yea, though he be a stranger. Though he be a what? A stranger read or a sojourner come on that he may live with thee Take that it on that verse now it says a stranger who was called a stranger in that verse what nationality of person you said it now you're confused who Israelite how you doing my brother do you understand that right we'll read it again for you because I don't want to go unless you understand it read this again if thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with thee. Who is thy brother, Ray? It is right. Exactly, Ray. Right? Then thou shalt relieve him, yea, though he be a stranger. Though he. Who's the he, Ray? The brother. The, the brother. Exactly. Though he. Come on, read that again. Though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. So it says, if your brother falls on hard time, although he doesn't live in your region, he lives uh, in Samaria, but he's still your brother. Right. He's still an Israelite. He's still in the 12 tribes. Right. He's going to let him live with you because he's still your brother. Although he's a stranger and he doesn't live in Jerusalem, he's still your brother. Right. Right. Everybody on the same page. First Peter chapter 1, verse 1. Watch this. Now, remember one of the curses is that the Israelites will be scattered, right? Watch this. The book of First Peter chapter 1 and verse 1. Come on. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the stranger, to who? To the stranger, read, scattered throughout Pontus, throughout Pontus, Galatia, Galatia, Cappadonia, uh -huh. Asia, uh -huh. and Bithynia. Is that it on that? So what are we reading? Wait a minute. Did we just realize that when we get to the New Testament, that Galatians 
Ephesus, when you read about the Jews in Asia in Acts, that's actually the Israelites? Is that what we just read? Let's read it again. How you doing, my brother? Read this again. First Peter chapter 1, verse 1. I think, I think it struck something, my brother. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's exactly what it's talking about. Let's read it again. First Peter chapter 1, verse 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the stranger. To who? To the stranger. Who are the strangers? Who? Israelites. That's what you got to understand, man. This Bible is written to us just in different names. Yet, you became strangers. Why? Because we went against the commandments of God. Remember in Deuteronomy 28, 64, he would scatter us through all nations. And that's exactly what happened. Read this again. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadonia, Asia, and Bithynia. See, now give me that in James 1 and 1. There's another precept to back that up. Showing you how true this Bible is. Meaning what? When you go to these Christian churches, they ain't teaching the truth according to the Bible. Right. First and foremost, they can't teach you who you are. Right. They're going to teach you that you're a Gentile. Right. Somebody outside of the nation of Israel. Right. But God says, no, you're actually an Israelite. You're the real thing. Right. Read this. James chapter 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes. To who? To the 12 tribes. Read which are scattered abroad. And Peter, he calls us what? Strangers. And James, he says, 12 tribes. Interchangeable, it's the same thing. So, today, what do we call ourselves? We don't call ourselves Galatians today. We call ourselves African Americans. We call ourselves Jamaicans. We call ourselves Puerto Ricans. But guess what? When God decided to put the spirit on his prophets, he told us to come out here and teach to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad. That's what you got to understand. We're teaching our people who they are and how to keep God's commandments and return to greatness. Do y'all believe? Yes, go ahead, brother. So the nationality like the Jamaicans, the British, American, that's not, that's not real. No, that was put on us. Those names was put on us, my brother. Because think about it. Think about Black History Month, right? They only teach us, for the most part, what happened in civil rights. They never teach us who we were before 1619. Right. They can't do it. They can, but they ain't going to. Give me Psalms 83 and 2. Psalms 83 and 2. They don't want you to know who you really are, Ray. Right. You're actually great, but they ain't never going to tell you that. Right. Watch this. Psalms chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thine enemy, thy what? Thine enemy, Ray. Make the tumult, and they that hate thee. So you got to realize the enemies, give me that in Nehemiah 5 and 9. Who are our enemies? Is it the black man that's our enemy? No. It's not the black man. But that's how we treat each other. Your enemies are the ones in the corner stores selling you alcohol right. and drugs. Right. Your, your enemies are the ones in the Chinese store selling you wax. Right. Right. Your enemies are the ones who sold you in slavery. Right. Right. That's who your enemies are. Right. Read what you got. Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 9. Also, I have said, is it not good that ye do? Are ye not to walk in the fear of our God? Because of the reproach of the heathen. The reproach of the heathen. A heathen is anybody outside of these 12 tribes. A heathen nation outside of these 12 tribes. Let's see what God calls those heathens. Because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemy. Our what? Our enemy. Our friends. Our enemy. Our enemies. Thus saith the Lord. Go back to Psalms 83. Psalms 83 verse 2. For lo. Thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. It says, those that what? They that hate thee. So, whether you want to believe it or not, the other nations hate your guts. That's what the Bible says. And you really got to think, you know what, that is true. I mean, they did put us in slavery. They're still gutting us down in the streets today. You know what, I do think they hate our guts. That's what the Bible says. Give me that in Lamentations 4 17 real quick. Just to give you the example backed up in the Bible. Just to show you everything is in the Bible. Right. Give me that. 
Lamentation chapter 4 verse 17. Bring it on. As for us. As for who? As for us. Ain't everybody going through this. That's why that sister said, yeah, everybody can relate with a story in the Bible. All right, let's see if the white man can relate with this. Three. As for us, our eyes has yet failed for our vain help. Our vain help meaning what? Vain is something of no profit. Right. So if you got vain help, that means that's help that can't help you out. Right. Read it again from the top. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Come on. And our watching, we have watched for a nation. For a what? For a nation. The Israelites have watched for America, read, that could not save us. America can't save you, black man. Right. Hispanic man. Right. Read, they hunt our step. America does what? They hunt our step. How do they do that? How do they hunt our steps? Yeah. Think about it. Do you feel comfortable walking down a street at night being a black male in America? Bring it on. No, you don't. Right. Because you feel for your life. Right. Uh, read it again. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. We can't even go in our own neighborhoods right. because we worried about the police shooting us down. That's right. Read. Our end is near. Our right. Our end is near. We know death is coming for the black man. Right. We know that because we see death every day. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 65. See the 65 or 67. Read. Yeah, give me that one. Yeah, read that 65. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 65. Watch this. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. So wherever we are scattered, because you got to think, Judah's in America, but then you got Benjamin in Jamaica, where the Chinese and Arabs be at. Right. Then you got uh, the so-called Puerto Ricans in Puerto Rico. You got this, um, the Ishikarites in Mexico. Right. So wherever we at, read it again from the top. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. So wherever we at, we're not going to find no ease. Right. You see Trump turning up on who? On Issachar, which are the Mexicans. Right. You see him turning it up, putting them in these detainment camps. Right. Killing these children, raping and molesting these children. Right. Read it again. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. We ain't going to find no ease. Go on to what you originally asked us. Why do we go through all of this if we the chosen? Because we sinned against God and he cursed us. Right. Read. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. Neither shall the sole of our feet have rest. Read. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. We're going to have a trembling heart trying to walk home at night. Right. Read. And failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. And sorrow of mind. The black man in America is the most depressed man ever. Right. Because we don't think that there's any way out. Yeah. But guess what? The only way out is the person who put us in it. Right. Verse 68. Read what you got. And the Lord shall bring thee. Who? Shall bring thee. God is the one who put us in America. Right. Into Egypt again. Into slavery again. Yeah. With ship free. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So that's how we got over here. In cargo slave ships. Right. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We will not see our homeland again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We shall be sold as slaves unto our enemies. Right. Read. For born men and born women. Slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. Buy is a Quaker word for redeem. Right, right. Meaning what? No one man or no group of men can get us out of this situation. Right. The only man that can get us out of this situation is God. That's, right. That's what we have failed to realize. Right. That's the problem with the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Right, we right. must come back and repent as Israelites. Right. That's the key. Not Kim not Kimmich. Kemet is garbage. Right. The Quran is garbage. Right. Christianity is garbage. Right. That's what you gotta understand. Right. This is the only way. Right. Thus saith the Lord. Right. Acts 319. Right. Acts chapter 319. Read that. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Come on. Right. Repent. You what? Repent. What are we teaching? We're teaching repentance. Right. We're teaching it the correct way, meaning what? Sin no more. Right. You are sinning, 
But now the prophets is teaching you the right way, thus save the Lord. So now you know the right way to go. Right. right. Read it again. Repent ye therefore and be converted. When you convert, that means you change. That means what? If you was a sodomite or a homosexual, you're going to read Leviticus 18 and 20, and you're going to be like, you know what? I got to change. Because right. God said a man should not lay with another man. Right. I didn't say that. God said it. Right. Numbers 15 and 38. Yep. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. Once again, who's the Bible speaking to? Speak unto the children of Israel. It ain't nobody else's book but ours. Right. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. God says that is a commandment for the Israelites to wear fringes in the borders of their garment. Right. So what do you see by all of these men? What do we have in our garments? We have fringes. Okay, right. read. Throughout their generation. For how long? Throughout their generation. Even in 2019, we still got to wear fringes. Right. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. So, what are the fringes for? Let's find out. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's the reason. It's our dress code and to remember the covenant that God made with us and only us. Yes. Right. That's why I told her, hey, somebody who's not Israel, they can't read that and relate because it ain't to them. Right. That's why I was trying to tell the sister early, but she got impatient. I was like, sis, you don't know what you're saying right now. Every nation can't read that and relate. Right. Only one people. Right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.